Welcome back. Okay, we're talking about sugar and sugar substitutes because I find it to be one of the most confusing aspects of a healthy diet. And Nathan Drindell is here, yep. and you're a dietitian. Yep. You spend all of your day in a million different ways talking about the right things for people to include in their healthy diet. Exactly. From recipe development, you said, all the way down to teaching people what to be doing. Right. Lectures, everything. Everything. So I find, like I said, sugar to be one of the most difficult areas to figure out when we're trying to figure out a healthy diet. So first question is, should we have a little bit of sugar that's real or should we have a little bit of the fake stuff? So what, when your first step, when you look at sugar, what do you tell people? And that's, again, almost an impossible answer, or question to answer uh -huh. because we have so many different components in that answer. Um, if you are replacing a, a regular soda mm -hmm. and, and taking out 300 calories of your diet and then eating a uh, Big Mac later on because you drink diet, mm -hmm. that's not something to do. Right, big sizing your Big Mac with a big size fry and a Diet Coke is funny. Yeah, <laughs> but when you take I've done that. But when you take it and, and make it in into your lifestyle and say, okay, instead of having uh, a cup of sugar in my daily intake mm -hmm. of, of food, I'm going to use a, a cup of Splendor or whatnot, which will be lower calories or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's a it's, it's a, a toss up. Yeah, you just have to be smart about what it. What are you looking at in terms of the amount of sodium amount of sugar that we're consuming? What should we be? I mean, there's a lot of hidden sugars. Mm -hmm. What should we have every day? According to the American Heart Association, women should only have uh, six teaspoons of sugar a day, uh -huh. added sugar a day. Okay. That doesn't mean apple or and whatnot. Right. And men should have nine. So about 100 calories for women, 150 for men. Uh oh. That is uh oh. Very tough. Very tough. So, first of all, okay, we can visualize a teaspoon of sugar. Right. But let's talk about where it's hiding. Okay. Obviously, we know that if we have an Oreo cookie, there's sugar <laughs> in it. But what are the, some of the places that it's hiding for us that we don't maybe sneak up on us? The biggest things are just some of your cereals, wheat, mm -hmm. apple sauces, things that we think are healthy for apple us. Apple juices. Right. They shove a lot of extra sugar in the things. Mm -hmm. um, so always look for applesauce that is no sugar added. Or cereals, and you want to make sure they're in the top five ingredients you don't have sugars. Uh, because our, our government doesn't make the uh, food industry break down added sugars versus natural sugars. Because if you have a glass of regular milk, mm -hmm. you're going to have a couple sugars lactose sure. milk. But if you have chocolate milk, there's a lot of added sugar in there, but they don't and distinguish And a lot it. of yumminess, Nathan. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, let's then talk about some of the um, sugar substitutes or sweeten things that you use to sweeten all of your different dishes. Uh, when it comes to, you said this, I want people to see this right away because you said this is a new product that you're really enjoying that I haven't even, I've, I have tried every kind of sweet thing there <laughs> is and I haven't had this yet. Tell me what is Nectress. Okay, it's actually uh, the, the makers of Splenda, their um, version of natural sweetener. It's mm -hmm. coming from the monk fruit so they can say it's natural. Um, there is still a process to get the sweetness they out of the monk fruit. It extract so it, yes. Right. It's not like you plop the fruit in your cup and you're done. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, so you use a quarter less of, you know, if it's a cup of sugar, you use uh -huh. a quarter cup of Nectress. Um, I have found that people that find the aftertaste with Splenda do not find an aftertaste with um, Nectress. With Nectress. So, and you can bake with it, um, and I like that. Okay, because I do like Splenda. I'm not, I don't have too many difficulties with Splenda, but again, that's another one where it's a 50-50 deal. Some people do have reactions to Splenda. Right. Because it isn't, like I said, it's the, they don't get it from the Splenda tree. There's some processing mm -hmm. involved to make it, you know, workable. But I like that you can cook with it. Yeah. And, you know, everyone jumps on, okay, these are natural and these are artificial. Artificial has to be bad for you. It, that's not There's necessary. no research, yeah. Um, because just because something says it's natural does not mean it's healthy or better for you than, than the artificials. You have to find the one you like, mm -hmm. and if it, you know, with equal, we can't cook with it. So you really can't right. put that in the cooking. But Which the other one. Which is aspartame. Ones, you, can't, yeah. you can't cook with aspartame. But, you know, people enjoy a Crystal Light. If you have a Crystal Light drink versus, you know, a full high calorie soda, right. you're, you are making a choice in a direction that would be positive. Right. As, and, and the main point for that is don't offset it with something else. Right. You know, you have I'm to be wise. I'm an offsetter. You and, read my mind. And that's the thing, because everyone falls into this trap of thinking, mm -hmm. oh, it's sugar free or no sugar added, so I can eat twice as much. Oh. 
Or sometimes when you look at these products, yeah. it really doesn't even make sense unless you have yeah. health conditions like a diabetic that really need um, to watch it. And let's talk about that. We've got Oreos, milk's favorite cookie, and mine. Also then there's the sugar-free Oreo. What? I haven't even heard of that. So when you look at these, and, and this is where people have to become investigators. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the food labels and see if it's a smart choice. When you look at regular Oreos or sugar-free Oreos, you're getting the same calories. So really, unless you have diabetes or something that really needs to watch sugars, you're not doing yourself There's any There's no help other than a glycemic impact for a diabetic Correct. person. Right. Um, so you're saying on camera that I can have a regular Oreo. A regular Oreo. Ugh. Who eats one Oreo? Has anyone ever eaten one Oreo no. in the whole wide world? Nope. Well, the serving size is three, so you can have three. Oh, three. So okay, there, right? okay. Um, I can have three Oreos. But then, like other ones that don't make sense, this um, frosting, mm -hmm. the regular versus the, the sugar free or vice versa, I don't mm -hmm. know which one's there. Yeah. But then, one that does make sense is this no sugar added vanilla ice cream versus regular. You're cutting the calories down in roughly almost half. Oh. And so you're making a good step there. Mm -hmm. um, the fat's actually re reduced also. So you're doing a good step there. But uh, again, the main point is don't double your intake of Arch the Arch sugar. Arch my buzz, name. Sugar. All right. Um, some, some coffee sweeteners uh -huh. or, uh, or syrups or ice cream toppers or whatnot. This doesn't make any sense. There's only 10 calories difference. So, so have the one have that the has regular the one if you want. Yeah. One of the main things that I always encourage people to look out for is no sugar added yogurt because you're taking something extremely healthy, yogurt, mm -hmm. and a lot of the food companies make it into a dessert by adding tons of sugar. Mm -hmm. So always watch out because you're cutting the, you're adding, you're almost doubling the calories when you add that sugar. Okay. So you've got to watch that. Is this bad? What is what I do? I get plain yogurt, no sugar added, Greek sometimes yep. too, and add a teaspoon, just a teaspoon to one of these little cups of honey. That's fine. That's fine. Because otherwise I don't like it. That's only about four okay. grams of sugar, so you're doing okay there. Oh, okay, good. The main culprit here, Regular soda versus a diet soda. This is where we get down to it. When you talk about childhood obesity, when you talk about, and you are, you know what you're talking about. We talked about this uh, when you were 18, you were a different Nate, yeah. right? 100 and, well, 100 pounds more. So you lost 100 pounds as mm -hmm. a teenager. And at that point you said the, the soda or the pot was what was the main culprit for you. That was the main for, thing for me, yep. And, and I'm not saying that, uh, you know, Diet, you should be chugging diet soda or whatnot, but the main thing that I found out for me was switching from regular soda, because I drink a lot, four mm -hmm. to six cans a day probably, mm -hmm. um, switching to diet helped me save those calories because I didn't offset. I didn't say, oh, I'm saving all these calories. I'm going to eat twice as many ginger snap cookies mm -hmm. or whatnot. So um, if you're wise like that, you can do it. Okay, so that's really good information, especially I think when we talk about parenting and keeping your kids uh, weight and health in mind right. that diet soda is better but no soda is best when they're little kids right. find other options yeah try to, you know i always recommend don't rely on these for your beverages water tea black coffee natural things mm -hmm. you know drink those we want to get the sweetness out of our diet basically not completely out but limited put it more natural in fruits what you are know. your favorite sweets then you know as 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 a dietitian someone who's lost weight what do you have a sweet tooth and oh, how yes. do you satisfy your sweet tooth um, well I, I i really love yogurt um, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I am I am from Wisconsin, so we always I love promoting oh, dairy. Come on, I really love yogurt. <laughs> so, but yogurt. Do you put a, a birthday candle in the middle of your yogurt? <laughs> no, no, no. But like in terms of cookies, uh -huh. um, or even baking things. Okay. Like I. This make is a great advice. You put yogurt. You switch out your yogurt for different ingredients. Yes, right? Greek yogurt for a, a lot of the fat. Uh -huh. um, you can do applesauce for the sugars, okay. things like that. So um, there are ways around it, but again. You just got to be smart with it. Be smart. One of the other ones that a lot of people don't uh -huh. realize is ketchup. You have 20 calories in a serving here. The reduced sugar, which I believe they use Splenda, drops it down to five. Okay, well that's a really that's good a, thing. Right. This is my wor one of my worst diet moments when I was Atkinson, you know, doing like no carbs. And I'd have a hot dog, because you could, but then you'd have ketchup with right. it. And then you, oh, this tastes great. Well, no wonder it exactly. tastes great. There's sugar in there. <laughs> Lots. You're dying for the sugar. Yeah. Okay, so, um, and then the final thing that I, what do you think? This is my soda choice for the most part. Yeah. Not a bad, I mean, I have about two of these a day. I probably should have one, right? Well, I when people ask, okay, I'm, I'm going to have diet soda, that's mm -hmm. fine. Two a day at max. Anything oh, okay. above and beyond, try to get the teas, the waters, things okay. like that. Okay. 
Okay, so do your best to reduce those. Thank you so much. You really helped us kind of sort out this sugar thing. It's not sugar that is bad. It's just swap some of the things out and don't add in an extra brownie because you had a light Oreo cookie. Right. Moderation <laughs> for everything. Oh, that darn moderation <laughs> rears its ugly head again. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. All right, when we come back, we're going to make a low-fat pizza. No-fat pizza, I heard. We'll see. Stay with us.